Hello, everybody. This is Advocate Lucinda, your empowerment lawyer. I was talking with a pro se plaintiff the other day, and she told me that the defense counsel asked her for more time to answer her complaint. Well, the plaintiff consented. Later on, the plaintiff asked the same defense counsel if they would give her more time to respond to a document that was coming due. Defense counsel would not consent. Well, the plaintiff thought it was the end, but it wasn't. She didn't know. And that's what I want to talk about today. What you can do when you need more time to respond to a document that is coming due. First of all, don't give up. Don't get discouraged. So let's talk about what you can do. Well, the first thing you want to do is ask the defense counsel to consent to you having more time to respond. Whether the defense counsel consents or not, you will need to complete a certificate of good faith. And what the certificate of good faith does, it says that you made a good faith effort to get their consent, but you didn't get it. Then you want to construct your motion for extension of time. And with that motion, you are going to attach the certificate of good faith for, then you're going to file it in court. Now I will show you a sample of a certificate of good faith and also a motion for extension of time. And what I have here is the rule that governs computing and extending time. I provided you with the link. And remember to always read local rules. Here is a link for a sample certificate of good faith. And remember to cite the local rule in your document. And here is a link for an unopposed motion for extension of time. Now, hopefully defense counsel will consent. Then you can title it unopposed. However, if defense counsel does not consent, then it would be an opposed motion for extension of time. What we have here is a motion for an extension of time. Now, this is an actual case in the District of Columbia, the District Court. But you can use this for two purposes. One, to show you what's required in the motion for an extension. Of course, you're going to personalize it. And secondly, you can use it for formatting purposes. And one of the things you'd like to do is it to include the caption information because this tells the court what case they are reading. And secondly, you want to be certain to enter your signature line information, the date, and a certificate of service. You can format your good faith certificate in the same way, regards to the caption, the signature, the signature lines. Okay? All right. For any questions or comments, you can reach me, Advocate Lucinda, at adjunctlaw at gmail.com.